All right, so today I'm going to be showing you how to design a website using WordPress, and I'm going to show you how to start from start to finish in about five minutes' time. We're going to make a website in about five minutes. And so the reason why we're going to be using WordPress is because it's very simple and easy to use. And as you can see, there are many, many themes to choose from, and these are, have a more corporate look. You can have anything from magazine style, portfolio, uh, or a blogging platform, right, a blogging theme. And so the one that we're going to actually be using is we're going to just set up a very basic blog and we're going to choose this one right here, right? There's many to choose from. Um, you can just browse through. I have a blog post that I have a bunch of free themes that you can browse through. There's literally thousands of them. But the one that we're going to make is just this very simple one right here. Um, and the reason why we're going to be making it is because it's very easy to use. It's very easy to use, very easy to learn from, right? You can always customize your website or use a different theme uh, that are more complicated. But this is probably a very simple theme, but it has a very clean look to it. It has a lot of options to it. It kind of has that... Tumblr blog uh, style to it, and that's something that I really like, right? But feel free to use whichever theme you want. Before we actually start making the theme, before we actually show you how to use WordPress, what we're gonna need is we're gonna actually need a hosting account, right? And so we're gonna be using HostGator, and the reason why it's very cheap, very affordable, but it also is extremely reliable. It's what we actually personally use. Um, so we're just gonna click on order now, right? And I actually have it set up already, uh, the kind of the order form already and so the you're just gonna fill all this uh, the domain name is what your actual website is gonna be called and so for us we're just gonna have the domain WP for our project uh, you're gonna have the hatchling package type and we're gonna have a one month cycle simply because um, for us we have a coupon code for a one month trial and it's gonna be one cent actually so a one month trial for one cent not bad right but if you want you can have anywhere from one month to 36 months it'll get cheaper as you have an extended trial or extended uh, plan right so the coupon code is WP for all trial as you can see at the end of the day it was a one month hosting plan and it's gonna have a domain registration of 1295 and that's just because that's gonna be a one-time fee a once a year fee of 1295 rather than this uh, one cent, it's gonna be a trial for the first month, right? So we're just gonna create count. So after we submit our information, we're gonna go over to our email. It's gonna take a little bit while, but we're gonna get an email from hostgator.com. And so what we're gonna be looking for is the, we're gonna hold on to this email for sure, but we're gonna be looking for the control panel URL. So we're gonna just open that up. And it's gonna ask us for our login information. It's gonna have our username, which we set up before. And it's also gonna have our password, which we also set up, but I think that the password for this one is gonna be this one right here. It's gonna be this password. It's just something that they made up themselves for temporary use at least. And so we're just gonna log in. So after we logged in, we're gonna go down and we're gonna find uh, something called a quick install or a one-click install, right? And that's gonna be right here in the software and services. And we're gonna click install right here. Um, and we're gonna be using WordPress. So we're gonna click WordPress right there. So we're just gonna click continue. We'll only have one domain right there. And so we're just gonna put in our email and all that contact information. We're gonna put whatever we want our blog title to be, whatever we want our admin user, um, and just a first and last name. You can put your own first and last name. It's entirely up to you, right? And we're just gonna click install now. And now once this has finished installing, we're gonna see that there's a couple more pieces of information that we definitely need to write down. And that's the admin area and our username and password, right? And so just to talk very briefly, the admin area um, is simply always gonna be our domain name slash wp-admin. Our username is gonna be whatever we entered in our admin user. And our password is gonna be generated uh, by the quick install. All right, so now that we actually have opened up our backend of WordPress, our WordPress login area, we're gonna see something like this, which has the typical WordPress logo, the username, and the password. So all we're gonna do is copy over the username and also copy over the temporary password. And we can change this later. And when we log in, what we're logging into is the backend of WordPress, right? So what we see in a second, what we see right here is actually the backend of WordPress where we're gonna actually be editing all the content, adding new pages, posts, um, changing the theme, all that's gonna be done back here. And only somebody with admin access is gonna see it. But if you wanna see what the front end looks like or what other users without admin access see, it's gonna look something like this, uh, which is very different from our actual demo website that we wanted to, to look like right here, right? And the reason why is because this is um, just the typical default 2014 theme that's automatically installed with every WordPress install, right? So if you wanna actually change any of that, if you wanna actually make it more resemblant of the Wilson theme or the demo theme that we wanted, we're gonna do that all in the back end, right? But remember how I said we should do this, or try to see if we can do this in five minutes time, see how much we can get done. Well, I'm gonna start a timer, and we'll see how far we can get. 
All right, so I'm just going to put that off to the side right there. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is just installing the theme, right? And so we're just going to go into Appearance, Themes, and Add New. And then we're going to click on Upload Theme whenever it loads. Uh, and I, I'm just going to drag it and drop it over. I saved it on my desktop, right? So I'll actually have the link in the description below of where you can actually find that uh, theme file and you can download it. So it's going to take a little bit of time. So the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be making this post, right? Because the post is going to be kind of bare. Right, so when we go back, it's going to show that it has in fact installed successfully, a theme installed successfully, so we're going to click activate. And then it's always good to just check to see what the website looks like right now. And so this is what our, our website looks like right now. As you can see, it's, it's fairly similar, but it's actually very different at the same time. Uh, still has some work to do, so we're just going to go back into the back end and add that first post. And so I'm just going to copy everything over. We don't normally do this, but let's just copy over. Oops. So we're just going to copy over um, this title and we're going to copy it over right there. And we're going to uh, copy over the content, right? And we're going to paste that in, right? So in our categories, sometimes it won't actually be here. I actually added the category beforehand when I was testing it out. Uh, we're going to click on coffee. You can add a new category, maybe review, something like that. Uh, and then we're just going to set a featured image. And so I saved it previously, same, same picture as on the demo. Um, and we're just going to set that featured image, right? Everything is just drag and drop, right? So we're just going to publish. And then when this is finished uploading, uh, we're just going to go back to our main site. Um, and we're just going to refresh it, see what it actually looks like right now. All right, so now we have our post right there. Looks very uh, nice, looks very similar. Uh, so the next thing that let's do is let's add this pages right these are different pages that we have let's make the about page right so if we click on that we'll see what it looks like it looks like this very simple about page so let's just copy over the text and we'll go back to our back end and instead we're going to go into new and page likewise it could have been done right there as well um, and that's just on the sidebar as well so we're just going to paste that in and click about or say about right featured image not so important in this case and we're just going to publish it right and so we're now going to see what our website looks like and we'll see that in fact our about page is right here when we click on it we'll see it right there right so um, you know we can go back and forth find our recent posts as well down here the drink more coffee developers was right here right so we're at two minutes and 40 seconds so let's change um, this title right here so what we're going to do is we're going to go into appearance uh, and we're going to go into customize and what we're going to do right here is let's just change the site title um, and the tagline. So this was called WP for all projects. And just let's just change this to um, whatever we want the website to be about, coffee lovers. And we'll just click save and publish. So it's saved right there. We're going to close it. And we're going to see what exactly changed. Right, so we'll see that we have the WP for all projects. It's kind of like our mini logo. Probably we don't want it that long, just because it doesn't fit. And underneath is the um, the site title or the the tagline, the coffee lovers tagline. Right. So we still have a little bit more time. Let's see what we want to add. Um, I think that one thing that I want to show you is how to add in this uh, maybe any of these widgets. Right. Let's just say we want this video widget. So how are we going to add that right here? Right. We have a bunch of them right here. Let's go into our back end and we're going to go into appearance and we're going to go into widgets, right? We'll see the sidebar. That's what our sidebar is. Um, if you want to add or remove any of them, simply just delete them, right? Archives, let's delete that. Recent comments, we can say we don't want it. We'll delete that. Maybe meta, we don't want that. We'll delete that, right? But the one that we do want is we want that video widget. So we're just going to drag it over and drop it in, right? It's extremely simple. It's going to drag it in and drop it in. And so um, I actually found out what the video was. It was this one right here, the idioms challenge. So we're going to just going to paste in uh, the URL, the idioms challenge. And we're just going to save it, right? And when we save it, we're going to, when we refresh it, we're going to see down below, we're going to see the idioms challenge right here, right? And when they click it, they can watch it right there, they can uh, extend it, whatever they want to do, right? So now that's around four minutes and 50 seconds. So I think that's pretty good, right? It's pretty good. I guess for the last thing, just since we have extra time, let's add this About Wilson widget, 
right? So how are we going to do that, right? There's really no uh, option for that. What it's going to be in actually is going to be text. So we're just going to add that in right here, and then we're just going to do that, and we'll just say about Wilson, right? And it'll just be whatever your name is. Uh, that's what you would want, and we're just going to refresh that again. And so when we scroll down, we're going to see that, yep, the, in fact, the same about Wilson is right there. The video is right there as well. And obviously, you can just add more posts, right? More posts, more content, um, and also more pages as well. And you can see, you know, we're right on track in the time. We added a little bit extra because we had a little bit extra time. And that's, there you have it. That's, that's how you design a website using WordPress. And obviously, there's many themes to choose from, many options that you can go with, um, I'll probably have a link in the description below of that same page of the free themes. Uh, but yeah, go ahead if you were following along before or if you were just watching it for fun, go ahead on and go on over to HostGator and you can sign up for your hosting account, right? And use the code WP for all trial um, and you can save quite a bit of money, at least if you want to just try it out and see how it works.